Alex Jones here for InfoWars.com. It is Saturday morning. We have breaking news. Please get this video out to everyone and check the articles for yourself that we're about to go over. As you know, going back a week and a half ago, I pointed out that the shooter and all the events surrounding it mirrored other staged shootings that have turned out to be staged, like RFK shooting with Sirhan Sirhan. I mean, even the LAPD says that was staged. Look it up. The coroner, his lawyer, he was drugged. It fits into the past patterns we've seen. Tim McVeigh's doctor was the number two head of the Army Psych Warfare Brainwashing Program. Jolly and West. He was under Dr. Ewan Cameron. Look it up. Here it is. Aurora shooting suspect was under psychiatrist care. The government wanted to keep this sealed, but defense attorneys got it. He'd sent notebooks, everything, if you even believe he actually did it. But they put him to the program and they obsess and write on notebooks over and over again, just like in the Manchurian Candidate, which is based on real technologies they have, the one with Denzel Washington. You know, the guys all have those notebooks they're always writing in. Well, here it is. She was the head of the largest Air Force psychiatric program in San Antonio, Texas. That's the biggest conflagration uh, of Air Force personnel in the United States is San Antonio, Texas. I'm in Austin, just north of it. The point is, she was the head psychiatrist for the biggest division of the Air Force psychiatric program. And then she just went to work at the little university there. Oh, yes. And he was with her. And, of course, he was on a bunch of psychotropics. We already know that. Continuing here. Oh, look. I'm just going to go over some of this now of why we're saying it's an inside job. Larry Pratt, head of the second biggest gun organization in the country, highly respected. He says, hey, if they stage Fast and Furious, we've got to look at them staging this, and it has all the telltale signs, especially because just a few weeks before they're supposed to sign the UN Treaty, and they're trying to get the Senate to ratify it, and magically this happens. Go watch the video. Larry Pratt, Batman shooting could be staged. There you go. Let's, let's continue looking at some of the other evidence that's come out. Oh, real-life shooting imitates training exercise at Parker Medical School, part of the same university medical system that he was basically assigned to. And, of course, he was in this big Department of Defense-funded brain machine interface uh, system that even deals with missing time and is tied into DARPA-funded mind control. But let's just ignore all that. They did a drill of a theater being attacked with a shooter, using smoke bombs basically to distract everybody uh, just magically. Uh, there is uh, that report. And uh, there he is. And that isn't the face of mind control. You know, he's in the different court hearings and can't even talk. And no one asks, is he drugged? No one asks, uh, hey, I mean, are they going to commit a mass shooting and grab you off the street, drug you, and then just roll you in and just say you did it? This is where they get them, is out of government programs, special forces, or college, like Theodore Kaczynski, the Unabomber, who was in MK Ultra. That was declassified, LA Times. And they, they, they say, oh, you want to volunteer for a program? Oh, yeah, I'll volunteer. And they don't tell you what it is. The born supremacy is so incredibly accurate. When you, I mean, that's because the writers just went off what's been admitted. That's real, basically, when you watch the born supremacy. Okay, they recruit them out of the military, out of uh, government, uh, you know, advanced brain research. They'll sit there and assess people that are in the PhD programs or in the military, you know, captain and above for these programs. Theodore Kaczynski, same deal. Unibar was in MK Ultra, quote, volunteered. I mean, th this is real, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and they think you're so stupid, they just hide it in plain view. His mother has come out. And said, no, they just called up and said, is your son, you know, James E. Holmes, does he have red hair? She goes, yeah, that's the guy. They hang up. The police hung up. They didn't want more. They wanted to just say she said he did it. She never said that. And it goes on and on and on. And in the backdrop of this, we finally got the U.N. Treaty. It actually says that states have a right to keep and bear arms. That means governments. You know, the U.N. calls country states in the global government. States have the right to have guns for now. The individual has none. And it goes on in the subsections to say that governments will get together to go to other countries to disarm the citizens. 
Article 15. That's at Infowars.com right now. In fact, I'm going to have it reposted on the front page. It was posted last night and has since scrolled off. Please get all this out to everybody. We'd be crazy with the timing of this not to question it. And sure enough, my guts was right. All the signs in our face, mind control, period. All right, folks, it is up to you to just get the word out on this. Obama had his surrogates all come out and call for all, basically, guns down to flintlocks to be banned. Michael Moore says the founders didn't want you to have guns. Bloomberg tells police go on strike. This is traitorous sedition. And we'd better speak up against them. They're starting to lose. The gun culture, the culture of liberty, is spreading. All the polls and numbers show. Uh, gun sales doubled in the week after the shooting. People know. And the criminals know. That's why they use every event they can as a giant grandstanding event. I'm going to do another video later if I have time on the Olympics. You know, I can't even watch that with my children now. It was government health care is good, women and men kissing, just shoving agendas on people, and now they want to shut down Chick-fil-A because the owner made a comment that he's against gay marriage. I don't even talk about those subjects, but I've got to defend the First Amendment. These are authoritarians, ladies and gentlemen, masquerading as you know, so-called liberals. They are not liberals. You know, opening um, ceremony promotes socialist health care, homosexuality. I mean, you just, and it was all frantic and just incredible. I mean, the brainwashing is just everywhere. Be aware of it. America is mind control. Our world is under brainwashing. Just a lower level of it. All right. We'll see you on the radio tomorrow. I'll be live uh, 4 to 6 as well, Infowars.com.